Well, here's the question. How well does spring steel hold up if it's forged and turned into cutters? I just honed this, so I'm hoping I did not take and anneal it too much when I was grinding it because I had to use the angle grinder, but go across, see how it looks. It sounds like it's chattering, but it's giving an amazing finish. Well, how did it do? I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little burnishing from where the metal was cutting. It's a round nose tool, but it seems to hold up pretty well in aluminum. Let's put a piece of steel in. I got some plates I was going to make some jaws out of. So let's see how it works with the steel. See how long it holds up for that. Okay, I just put the steel in here. It's two three sixteenths inch pieces of steel that I just have. I usually use it to make parallels out of. So I got it clamped in, get it moved over, see how it it's gonna do. Let's go. Does help if I move it in the right direction. chattering a little bit here, so get it down a little bit more, get rid of the chatter. It still looks good, just chattering. Might have to set the step over a little higher. Yeah, I'll set the step over and come back. Let's see how this goes. Heavier cut and more more power to it, rather than lower step over. So it's great for roughing out. Very smooth too. Go down just a hair bit more. That's twenty thousand deep. Cut. That's about twenty thousand deep. Ten thousand 
Watchers. Cutting edge still looks great. out and see what it looks like. There's no chipping or anything. There's it's still as sharp as could be. So, this tool, it loves high step over, as high as you can get it, and yeah, it gives a really nice finish too. Might be getting a little dull, I don't know. But it's not bad for a homemade tool that I made out of car leaf spring. I'll be using that quite a bit. I'll make some other ones for cutting dovetails and stuff. I'll mainly use that in aluminum, so it doesn't matter. While I was out there messing around, I made a pair of tongs for handling the spring steel. And they hold on to it quite well. And I also made this up It's uh, for making dome rivets. It's just a rivet header. But that's about as all I've done today. Not the prettiest things in the world, but they work. Yeah, I'd say it works. Okay, thanks for watching. See ya.